Bethany. Yes. First day of school. New year. Yeah. What do you think? It's kind of weird. What's weird about it? I'm not in school anymore. You're not in school anymore. What happened? <laughs> in 2020. Yeah. Uh, I decided to draw myself. And we let you, didn't we? Yep. Yeah. So how are you feeling about it? Mixed feelings. But yeah. I'll be fine. Me too, Bethany, me too. So what were you saying about virtual school? That it's kind of silly. And the reason I liked it last year because it was getting closer to the end of the year and it wasn't every single day. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like an all day thing. Yeah. And you don't think you'd like sitting in front of the computer all day? Yeah. I do not blame you one bit, girlfriend. But we're gonna have fun though, aren't we? Yeah. We're gonna chai harder, aren't we? Yeah. Do you know that's what your shirt says? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna make the most of it, Bethany. Yep. That was a mature decision that you made, an adult decision. And uh, at age 20, you're certainly allowed that, that privilege. And you do have one more year if this doesn't work out, right? Right. So it's, it's gonna be a very interesting year this year. And this is a very interesting new day, the first start of school but we are gonna make the most of it. Yep. All right, I'm gonna go check on the other kids and I'm gonna have coffee before I get dressed. <laughs> okay? Okay. All right. First day of school. The sun is shining. Mm -hmm. You wanna sleep in? Mm -hmm. Okay, you can sleep in. Mm -hmm. Not a problem. No bus, no fuss. I'll be back later. The sun is up. The birds are singing. But Mama Bear still needs her coffee. Yes, I do. Good morning, Hannah. Good morning, Mom. First day of school, but not for you. Yeah, I go to work. But not today. No, I know. Tomorrow. Right, because t this week you're only working one day, right? Yeah. You're on a two-day uh, work week after the virus. Uh-huh. And uh, now you're going to only do one week because of the holiday. Yeah. So now you're going to have coffee? Yep, I am. Put your sugar in first, do you? Yeah, because I can actually hear it going in through the cup, and then Dad showed me this circle thingy, you know, like this. Yeah. With, with two fingers around the cup, and then to tap the sides, like... Okay. And it's all the way out, so that... This is the guide, so that if I if I leave this, then it'll just start sliding all over the, over the place. I see. But it's... It's a firming safety thing. Okay, but you're going to have your coffee while everyone has their first day of school. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Your first cup. Yeah. The first of two. Yeah. Numero uno. Numero uno. Yeah. Good morning, Abigail. Good morning, Mom. You ready for your first day of not having school? <laughs> We're going to have fun, aren't we? Yeah. You girls are so cute. You're going to have breakfast. Yeah. Uh, Mom's going to go up and get dressed and try to get everybody else going, too. Yeah. All right. First day, Abby. Okay. First day of official unschooling, <laughs> basically. All we right. We can have applesauce. <laughs> sure, you can have applesauce. Okay. Okay, we'll go get it then. All right. Hot coffee coming through, people. Okay. Yeah! Hot coffee coming through. Okay. Coming through. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. I do not want to scold everybody. Okay. Hold on. Hold. Hot cup. Ten. Nine. Or actually five. Four. Three. Two. One. 
Excelsior. <laughs> okay. Ah, delicious. Well, first day of school, 2020. What a difference a year makes. What a difference a year makes. First day of school there, Daddy Dude. Good luck. Is that where you're staying? No, I guess I'll get up. Especially since you have to go to work. But you have a you have a very long commute, don't you? I do. Three flights of stairs. Okay. What a difference a year makes. Unbelievable. First day of school, David. Yeah. What for... a difference a year makes. Uh, yeah, right. You are not on campus, are you? No. Nope. As evidenced by the fact that you're sitting here eating breakfast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what time are your classes today? Uh, 11 and 1.30. Okay. And Jesse has music therapy today. Okay. And Abby's having her breakfast. Did you already have eggs, Abs? And Hannah's peanut butter girl. <laughs> you have peanut butter toast, Jesse or Hannah? <gasps> My um, brain's not awake yet. All right, I've got to go give your sister a bath because she wouldn't allow me to do that last night. Uh oh. All right, carry on. Everybody's eating. Got your own breakfast. Yeah. All you independent people. Yeah. Jesse has. Did she say happy? No. Oh. I Jesse has music therapy this morning, so I had to call in backup yeah. to help me get her in the tub because she wouldn't let us give her a bath last night. No, she had me up at 4 a.m. 4.08 a.m. Oh, lovely. Hi. Hi, honey. You ready for first day of school? This is typical. Yeah. Except at least we don't have a bus, but no we, do bus. Have a, we do have a therapist coming. Good luck, Dad. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit. Okay. Okay, she's in the tub. Okay. I'm going to go take the dog out. That was not, that was a challenge. It was. Okay, all right. We did it, though. Okay. All right, I'm going to go get the dog next. Okay. <laughs> He's being good. He's being very patient. What a difference a year makes. What a difference. Okay, that was a workout. We got the shower. We got the bath done. Now dad's having to get her dressed. Sometimes uh, Jessie has a real hard time with transitions. She cooperates better for him sometimes than she does for me. Not always, but when she gets real bad, he, you know, he has better luck with her. I'm like sweating bullets. That was quite the workout. So now I'm going to go get all bed ready and um, we're going to have a day today. Hey, Obed, you ready for a first day of School? Not? <laughs> you don't look too excited either, kiddo. All right, let's get you up and going. Obed, up and dressed and ready to go for your first day of school in the basement. Are you ready? What do you think? It's going to be so much fun, isn't it? Yes, it is. We're going to go finish getting Jesse ready and then go have our breakfast. All right, you ready to rock and roll there, kid? Let's go do it. You're walking with your mom. You're walking with your teacher, but mostly you're walking with your mom. <laughs> Okay, sweet boy. Dad's having trouble with Jessie. She is being combative and uncooperative, but that's to be expected sometimes. All right, come on, bubs. Come on. <laughs> you can do it. You want to do it by yourself? Do it by yourself. Come on. You got this. I'm not holding him at all, so he's doing great. Come on, big boy. 
This can be a first lesson. You're making lots of progress with the stairs. You know, it's hard to be a mom, a teacher, and a videographer all at one, all at once. But we got this, don't we, bubs? Good job, Obed. <laughs> one more. One more. There you go. Perfect. Woohoo! Look at how proud you are of yourself. You did so super great. You okay? Yeah, I got her down here. You she have came wounds? cooperatively until we got to here, and then I just have one, one bloody wound oh, from, from the scratching. Yeah. But, yeah. but it's okay. It comes it's with okay. the territory, right? Yeah, she's got sharp fingernails. Nice. Well, I keep clipping I know, them, and keep, we keep them pretty low, but... There you go. <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's our new life right there. Oh, yeah. Guys, you gonna have music therapy in the morning room today, Jess? No, no, no. Hi. All right. Uh, well, one of the things Zoe's hey. gonna work on is transitions, so it is all good. Jessie can be as comfortable as she wants to be, right, sweet girl? You no. Know? All right. I'll let Hi. you rest for a few minutes. I think we have thirty minutes before Zoe gets here. Dad had to go to work downstairs. So now I'm gonna prepare Obed's breakfast. So this is cream of wheat with blueberries and agave syrup. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Obed loves this. This is one of his favorite things. It's really easy on his stomach. And of course, I always have to test my children's food to make sure that it is safe for them to consume. Mm -hmm. Good stuff, really good stuff. Gotta start our day with a nice, nutritious breakfast. Ready? Come here. Oh, Ben, ready? Here you go, sweetie. There you go. Processing, processing, processing. Would you like some more? Are you ready for some more? It tastes like a a warm blueberry muffin or something. It's so good. There you go, sweetie. And because this is so messy, I just go ahead and feed hey. him. Otherwise, he would be wearing it. And the name of the game, the object of the game, is to get as much of this into his stomach as we can. So Miss Zoe's here for music therapy. <laughs> and Arnie's going to have a fit, I think. But Jessie's going to have to have her her um, therapy session in the morning room because she doesn't seem to want to wake up. Jessie, Miss Zoe's here. You've destroyed the entire room. <laughs> Miss Zoe's here. Is that okay? Yeah, if she do, it, does it here? Okay. Well, you guys carry on and enjoy. difference a year makes. Hello. We got this.
Well, guys, now that music therapy's over, yes. <laughs> time for a break, <laughs> time uh, for a nap. No, I'm kidding. We have to get downstairs and get to it at some point, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, we will. I'm going to have <laughs> something quick to eat here, and then we can go downstairs. Was that fun, Obed? Did you enjoy music therapy? It's pretty interesting stuff, and we'll do a whole video on music therapy at some other point, won't we, Hannah? Yeah. Yep. Zoe's up for it, and she'll explain how all that works and how she, you know, gets different responses through different instruments and, and music and techniques. It's very, very fascinating. So some of the things that Zoe's going to be working on with Jessie are transitions. You know, we had a difficult time this morning trying to get her in the tub and then downstairs. So transitions are an area where she needs help. She needs therapy and we need to learn how to, you know, use those techniques and reinforce the skills that she learns. And, and it, I couldn't film a lot of it, a lot of copyright, um, songs and things like that will prohibit me from doing that, but it's pretty fascinating stuff to watch. She's also going to be working on uh, behaviors. Jessie has some self-injurious behaviors. Many of you have seen the callus on her hand where she will bite when she gets frustrated and upset. And so we're going to be working on a calm hand, calm body song and using um, redirections and things that she can actually do with her hands that are not as destructive to others and to herself. You saw that dad needed a Band-Aid this morning. He had a wound. And so um, those are some of the things that she's going to be working on as well as communication with uh, Jesse and Obed. Obed's going to be getting his his assessment soon too with music therapy. He was having a blast this morning. In fact, I think um, Obed got more out of today's session that even than Jesse did. But it's all very fascinating and we're just so thankful to have them in the home and glad that we can provide that service for the kids. So it's, it's all good. Time to report to work. Heading down. Gonna go do it. Hello. 
Here we are. First day of school. Here we are. Are you coming down here to invade my space? Well, somewhat, yes. Yeah. <laughs> like with that table and is it going to be very loud or? No. no. And you know, we need to talk about this because really, because really what we're doing is unschooling. Yeah. Unschooling is kind of like homeschooling. But when you've got a kid who is on a non-academic track, like Obed, mm -hmm. and you've got kids like Jesse, who really has graduated already, right? So we, we are only really obligated to educate Obed. Yeah. And because of the needs and because of the non-academic track, we need to just kind of go with the flow with him and take the moments as they arise, work on his goals, and uh, unschool. Yeah, and that way his curriculum is driven by him. Exactly. His, his needs and his interests and his desires, so that if he's interested in feeding himself, then we can work on him feeding himself and improving his skills there. If he's or walking down the stairs. Walking down the stairs or playing with manipulatives or uh, doing doing uh, cause and effect toys. Reading a book. Reading a book. We take each of those interests and then double down on them. And we don't, we're not going to force him into a schedule. Right. We're not going to, we're not going to force ourselves into a schedule. And right. we're going to... Um, probably exceed all the goals that are on the IEP for the well, we year. Will. We, we will there's no question. I mean, because right. we kind of already have. Right. This is a twin vision book. And so this book has, can you see the Braille? There's Braille. There's also print. So the idea is, see the braille is on an overlay, and the idea is that the sighted parent or teacher, <laughs> as the case may be, can read the book without necessarily knowing braille, but the braille is still there. We do not expect that Obed is ever going to be a braille reader, but I think it's very important for him to recognize that braille is how you read and that's how he accesses the words a sighted kid would just look at the words and eventually in pictures and put two and two together but in Obed's case he's going to be looking at the braille while I'm reading him the words we'll read this with Obed these are um, this has been brailled by a former teacher and the um, the pages are much heavier, so he can't destroy those as he's learning how to turn the pages. And again, you know, the act of reaching for the book, turning the pages, and making that association for reading is what's important more than anything. And this is his twin talk. We'll, let, we'll just let Obed show you guys how to do that. Now this is a book that I have created for myself, mostly just to keep the accountability going. My plan is each day, what we're doing is we're just gonna give anecdotal evidence that we're working with him, and we just use the IEP as a uh, guide. We're not following it exactly, but we're gonna be working on those goals. So we just made these sheets that have all of the subjects that we are gonna work on. This is if we have a field day or he has OT or, or music therapy or something. And then the other things are self-explanatory. The date, did we work on it, yes or no, what the goals were, and any notes about his progress I can just kind of fill in. And this is, like I said, to keep me accountable. Every day I'll be filling one of these out and doing videos like this. And that'll be, you know, if we need to, then that'll, that'll be what we'll will have as evidence of Obed's progress. Bethany, you want to bring him in here and we'll read him a book. Or he'll read a book. Okay. What? 
And at the same time, you know, Bethany's going to increase oh. her skills. Watch your back. What? And she's going to, Bethany, you want to be my IA? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah? Sort of? Yeah. Oh, Beth. Wait, let's turn this down. Are you ready to read a book? Swing, please. Oh, that's the wrong Swing one. Please. Not yet. <laughs> Are you ready to read a book? Read a book. Read a book. Read a book. All right, here you go. <coughs> Bethany, do you want to help him with that? Since you're the instructional <coughs> assistant over there. Let's <coughs> yeah. turn the page. Here we go. A is for apple. Okay, touch apple. Turn the page, Obed. You got it. You got it. Yeah, just a just a gentle nudge on the arm. Use his elbow, Bethany, and lift underneath. Let him get a hold of the page. Here. Sorry. Here you go. Turn the page. Good job, Obed. Goal number one. Good job. <laughs> D is for dolphin. Here, touch dolphin. Job. Bethany's learning how to be a teacher. E, okay, ready? E is for elephant. F is for fish. Yeah, fish. Fish. Let's turn the page. Here. If we would, let's just work on turning the pages today more than anything. I mean, read it, read it to him. Okay. But let him. But don't you do it. Let him do it. Okay. Okay. So it's that just that gentle direction of like as soon as he's got a hold of the page, Bethany. What you want to do is put your hand under his elbow and just help him to know to do that. He's looking for the braille. Here. Ready. Good job, Obed. G is for mm -hmm. goose. H is for heart. I is for island. Good job. You know what he loves, Bethany, more than anything? He likes being with us and doing an activity. <laughs> but this helps him to understand what a book is, right? Right. If, if that's all he can do and he's excited about that, then that's progress and that's huge, right? Right. That's just fine for him. M is for moon. N is for nest. Oh, here we go. O is for owl. <coughs> Turn the page. Very good. Excellent work. Give me five. Are you going to master your goal on the first day of school? Huh? Good job, bud. Y is for yacht. And, Obed, Z is for... Zebra. Woohoo! All right. Turn the page. Good job, Obed. So this might not seem like a very big deal, but it is. Obed knows what a book is. He knows what reading a book is. He knows what the letters look like, and he knows how to turn a page. Right, Bethany? Yep. That's huge. Very proud of you, Obed, and I'm very proud of you, my teacher's assistant. Thanks. Hello, Hannah. Hi. Are you hanging out with us? Yeah. Oh, All right, you got him. Good job. Hold the swing still. Now, crisscross applesauce, Obed. All right, break time. He read that book like three times, didn't he, Bethany? Yep. 
requested it, turned his pages. You did a great job, Obed. And there was one point in there where he reached for the Twin Talk himself. Right, Bethany? Right. We were kind of, you know, not paying too much attention, and he clearly requested the book and enjoyed reading it again. Didn't you, Obed? Yes, you did. Teacher's Lounge. Oh, yeah. I have about, I don't know, 15 minutes, and then it's back to work. But so far, so good, you guys. First day of school. What a difference a year makes. What a difference a year makes. Oh, this is one for the history books. Hopefully it's history pretty soon because, yeah. But you know, this might work out really well for our family and I hope it does for yours too. So far so good, we're kind of having fun. Lunchtime? Lunchtime, let's take a break. I declare. Yeah. A community outing. Okay, that's fine. Let's Field do trip. That. Field trip. Let's go. Okay. Field trip. Community outing. <laughs> Open loves homeschool. Don't you, bud? It's way fun. Ready, Obed? Got a haircut, so he's kind of. <laughs> Is this fun, Bethany? Oh, yeah. All right. Come on. I go. promise it'll be more fun than. Well, I mean, if I something, it'll be more fun than virtual school yeah. anyway. If I had done, if I had continued doing school, then I probably would have had to. Would I have been able to go with you guys? Or? Probably not, because David, we're missing David. I would have to stay with him. Because David has uh, classes, and we got Jesse awake. That's hey, one Jesse, good thing yeah. about a community outing and a field trip. Uh, yeah. Jesse yeah. likes it, doesn't she? Yep. We need to do a head count, though. Is Abby and Hannah David both? Coming? No, he's got class. He's got class. Hannah, you're back there? Is Abby back there? Okay, I think we're good to go. So here we are at the Chick-fil-A parking lot having a field trip with our kiddos. First day of school. First day of school. Yep. Big difference from last year because we put those little kids on that those school buses. At O Dark 30. At O Dark 30, and what a difference. We don't have to chase umpteen gazillion different school buses all over the county. But right. what we've always done, a tradition of ours, is that we, on the first day of school, you and I usually go out on a date. Yeah, like without any kids. Without any kids, but we have kids today, and that's They're okay. They're all hanging out. They're us. all hanging out. Because they're... Hanging out. our space. Get used to it because this is going to yeah. not be different for us. Yeah. You look, you're not too sure. Yeah. Count your blessings. I know. I'm, I'm glad that, uh, I'm glad that we can spend time with them. I mean, really count your blessings I because know. we've got it pretty good. All yeah, things considered. Yeah, we do. Daddy's cooking again. Yep. Chick-fil-A. You're gonna pass stuff out, Bethany? Yep. Is that a spray? Right, hold on, let me put a straw in it. Okay. Are you gonna be our observer today? Yep. See, there's uh there's something that Bethany's Job's learning. Skill. She's learning life skills. Push that in, push yeah. it in. How to oh, okay. how to serve. Oh no. Thanks, Bethany. You're welcome. All right, this one goes to Bethany, Bethany, you're gonna be working for your lunch today. Yeah. She enjoys she's, working. She's doing she's got it like I do. She takes a little a little toll out of every drink. Oh my goodness. <laughs> can't do that at her normal work site. She's learning from the pro. <laughs> Did you have fun on your field trip, Abby? Yes. All right. Instead of getting off the school bus, you're getting off the van. It's about that time. And that's the end of our first day of school. Jesse, ready to go in? You're ready to go home, sweet girl. We concluded our day with a little field trip. And there you have it. Yeah. Safely home. Yeah. And the end of the first day of school. We did it. We did it. Yay!